Hey guys, welcome to the Piston Show. I'm driving the new Ford Ranger Platinum Edition. So, until about last November, I think most of us Malaysians were probably just used to Rangers like the XL, XLT, Wild Track, and of course the ever popular Raptor. All of these cars, trucks, were actually either catered to heavy duty work such as the XLT or sports heavy duty stuff which we saw with the Raptor and then there was the in between the wild track which I have I own the previous generation model and I'm absolutely in love with it still after all these years uh, it's been what five years now and the wild track was the in between truck was it had the hardcore off-roading abilities together with the um, all of the comforts and convenience that a Ranger offers probably up leveled by a couple of notches in the wild track I'm not sure about you but every time I need to refuel my Ford Ranger I actively seek out a BH petrol station why? Because BH Petrol's Infinity Euro 5 Diesel comes with a special diesel performance package that keeps your engine as well as your injectors clean. And if you keep using it over the long term, it basically keeps your engine at a maximum operating efficiency. And what this means is that over the long term, power loss is rated at less than 2%. That's even better than what the manufacturers recommend. And because BH Petrol's Infinity Euro 5 diesel comes with two variants, either in B7 or B10, it makes it perfectly adapted to just about any type of diesel engine out there, making BH Petrol's Infinity Euro 5 diesel the right choice. So, last November, uh, Ford Malaysia, Sam W Auto Connection, actually introduced this truck, the Platinum Edition. Now, the Platinum Edition is interesting because after very long, we finally have a Ranger that focuses on luxury and premiumness. Well, more premiumness than luxury because it depends on your definition of luxury. If your definition of luxury is an S-Class, then you might be a little bit let down by the Platinum. But if, you're, if you have an open-ended definition to the word luxury, then I think you'll be quite impressed with the Platinum Edition because it's a really nice truck. There's no doubt about it. It's underneath it all is essentially the same powertrain, the two liter twin turbo uh, connected to a 10 speed automatic gearbox making 210 PS and 500 Newton meters of torque. That is still the same. The suspension, still the same. Of course, the Raptor has the Fox shocks and stuff. This does not. And it does not have that exorbitant price tag of a Raptor. It costs 183,888 uh, without insurance. So roughly about, I don't know, 190, let's put it that way. So, which means that it's actually not that expensive. And if you look at the competition from Nissan, Toyota, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, there is no competition for the Platinum. This reigns supreme as far as premium pickup trucks go. Everything else is either catered to hardcore abilities or some sporting abilities such as, I want to say GR Hilux, but that's more aesthetics. Anyway, you get the point, I'm sure. Um, the reason why I really like this truck so much it's because most of us actually do not take our trucks off-road. We might use it, we might use the bed 
to carry stuff and such but that's far that's as far as it goes you know we are not you know competing in the borneo safari or going camping up bukit uh, gunung tahan or something like that you know we are not hardcore off-roaders most pickup truck owners are not hardcore off-roaders we use it for our day-to-day uh, working needs i know a lot of uh, logistics companies a lot of uh, people that own pickup trucks and uh, own transport companies they they rely a lot on pickup trucks as well and i think this is a brilliant offering for people who spent who spend a lot of time on the road rather than off road why do i say that because this is one of the nicest interiors that a pickup truck has to offer as far as the overall design of the interior goes it's the same as the Waltrek is a regular ranger you get that 12.4 inch digital info screen meter panel over here you get a 12.4 inch vertical infotainment screen over here 12 inches over here beautiful beautiful uh, it's just so intuitive it's easy to use it has app wireless apple carplay and android auto it has the works right but in here it takes it up a couple of notches because ford has added a premium sound system from Bang and Olufsen. Wow. Now this sound system is usually found in the likes of a Volvo, uh, some other brands as well, but never, never in any car or pickup truck that costs 183,000. So this is just brilliant and it's a fantastic sound system. I don't know about you, sound systems matter a lot to me because we spend so much time in our cars, in our trucks, in our SUVs, stuck in traffic, going places and such that a nice sound system is just, it cocoons you in brilliance, I would say. The other car that we are reviewing is the Suzuki Jimny. Now, I want to say this because the Suzuki Jimny has a two speaker sound system two speakers guys so with two speakers it's <laughs> it's just terrible but this bang and lovesen is crisp everything is just crisp i drove this car to this truck to ipo and back and it was brilliant i mean there was very little of the world outside that you could hear that you could actually you know immerse yourself in your favorite music and for me that's what a pickup truck should offer comfort well we know the ranger is actually quite a comfortable truck if not the most comfortable truck now this current generation model does not have that active noise cancellation sound cancellation that the previous generation model had my model actually has active sound cancellation which means that the interior is super quiet you don't get that in this truck however i'm not quite sure how ford did this it's still very quiet in here you do get that diesel drone you do get that clutter you do do hear the gear shifts which you hear very little of in the previous truck however it's muffled in here it's muffled you don't really hear a lot of it but it's not as good as the previous generation model the other thing that i really like about this truck are the seats now for the first time in a pickup truck <clears throat> in the malaysian market we are getting a truck with 10 way power adjustable electric seats not only that but the driver's seat has a three three memory functions so you can save it in three different ways for three different drivers and the good thing is the brilliant thing is they're ventilated i can't 
I can't stop saying how important it is to have ventilated seats in Malaysia. We just have horrible weather, right? It's hot, humid, or everything, all of the time. Anyway, the interior of the Ranger Platinum, as I said, is largely the same as the other Rangers, but you get some what looks like wood trimming. I'm not sure if this is real wood, but I doubt it, but it looks premium. So that's the direction that Ford has taken with the Platinum model. It's obviously catered to premium slash luxury buyers. And it does a brilliant job at it because why would, if you're driving your truck on the road most of the time, 90% of the time or 80% of the time, then this is the truck that you want. Because, look at me, I'm doing about 60 kilometers per hour in Kota Damansara, which is typical of a Klang Valley, <coughs> Klang Valley driver. We spend most of our time either slowly crawling around, stuck in traffic or on the highway. And max that we do, maybe 120, 130, when the, when the highways allow us to. Otherwise, we deal with idiots on the road, which is our everyday life, lah, right? And no complaints. Seriously, the refinement levels in here is just brilliant. The sound system, as I've already said, uh, there's not much that I can say about the Ranger Platinum, which has not been said already. But as far as comfort and convenience goes, there's nothing quite like a Ranger, especially the Ranger Platinum Edition. So, even my wife fell in love with this car, my parents too, you know, and very rare do you see ladies actually loving a pickup truck. My, my, my wife completely loves this truck and uh, this just goes to show the appeal of the Ranger Platinum. Because, I mean, later I'll show you the seats, I'll stop the car and I'll have Hyrule jump in with the camera and we'll do a, a once-over. But when you step in here, it's just, it just takes your breath away, guys. Really, go to your nearest Ford showroom and ask to take a look at the Ford Ranger Platinum Edition. And the first thing, that, as soon as you get in here, it'll blow your mind because it you never expect a truck to feel so premium. Um, of course, you have other things. You have a lot of tech in here as well, such as you know a wireless charge pad. You get multiple USB ports, Type A, Type C USB ports. Uh, of course, I'm not even going to get into the off-roading capabilities of the Ford Ranger. That is tried and tested already. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Australia, where pickup trucks are used as they are intended to out in you know in the boondocks and such uh, the Ranger has overtaken the Hilux as the best selling pickup truck now that is saying something and the Ranger is not cheap in Australia yeah I think at 183 888,000 in Malaysia for the Ranger Platinum is actually a steal that we are getting the pricing is uh, unbelievable. So I'm do I'm doing it about 120 right now on the highway. Listen to this. There's hardly anything I can whisper. I can whisper in this truck, and yeah, that's the refinement levels of the Ranger Platinum. That's the Suzuki Jimny that we are reviewing. It's slow, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm about to park the truck, have High Rail jump in here with the other camera. We'll do a once-over and I'll take you outside because the Ranger Platinum is much more than a truck that is catered to premium buyers because it's an ideal lifestyle 
fattener as well. I'll show you now. All right, so here's a quick look at the interior of the Ranger Platinum Edition. Now, as I've already said earlier, the overall look, the design, fit and finish is similar to the other Rangers. You'll find a similar uh, interior in the Ranger XLT, the Wild Track, as well as the Raptor models as well. So what distinguishes the Platinum from the others is this part over here which are saying this wood trimming which you also get around the doors. You get this Platinum badging and as I said, you get B and O sound system which is just amazing, right? But let's just take a quick look around. So you get a double stacked dashboard. You get all this air conditioning vents which you turn to the to the right to, sh to totally uh, shut it down. But uh, then this 12, 12 inch vertical screen which has been, um, it's, it, it can be separated into the air conditioning controls, into the radio controls, and now obviously for your Apple CarPlay as well. Wireless, of course. This is my favorite part though, the seats. I mean, check this out. This is just fantastic seats. They are ventilated, of course. Um, besides that, you also get a huge digital meter panel over here and the short and stubby gear shifter. Now, this is your conventional mechanical gear shifter. It's not an electronic gear shifter, but you still have to press this button at the top over here to move this thing around. And then there's no uh, conventional handbrake though. It's, a, it's an electronic handbrake, which is great because that means that this comes with auto hold. Auto hold is, a, in my books at least, a must have feature if you are going to be driving in heavy traffic or in stop start traffic from traffic light to traffic light because it holds the car without you actually putting your brake and putting your foot on the brake which just makes it incredibly convenient other than that you get a wireless charge pad charge pad type a type c usb port and a whole lot of nice stuff now before we go walk around the exterior let's go talk about the back seats now the back seats obviously very comfortable very a very nice place to be in you could spend hours back here on a road trip you uh, you get a type a type c usb port over here and this is my favorite feature of any ford ranger you get a three pin plug a 400 watt three pin plug now this is I can't tell you the amount of times that this 3-pin plug has saved us. It has charged our laptops, it has charged our camera batteries, it has charged a bunch of things. And it's, for me, it's just a must-have accessory. And the one thing that I really like about the current generation Ford Ranger is the addition of air conditioning vents at the back. Now, brilliant for our Malaysian weather. More cup holders. So yeah. Nice place to be in, no doubt about it. Let's go take a look outside. Now, from the outside, it looks like a typical Ranger, right? Uh, of course, the distinguishing parts are this platinum woodings over here, uh, this satin silver-like finishing across the grille, very nice, very premium. You, of course, get the C-clamp daytime running running lights over here. Matrix LED headlights. This is just fantastic. They illuminate automatically. They light up signboards, the works. And then from you get this gloss black finishing over here as well. So at the back though, uh, sorry, from the side, as I've said, that you get this 20-inch wheels that are obviously more road-centric than off-road-centric. These run on your good Goodyear Wrangler tires. I gotta say that they're actually quite very quiet tires. They're not one of those drony type of tires. So brilliant. This adds to the refinement of the Ranger Platinum. And then when you come at the back here, of course, 
These are your side steps that the Ranger Wildtrak, if I'm not mistaken, was one of the first pickup trucks in Malaysia, if not the first pickup truck to have a side step over there. This is important, especially if you're going to be accessing the bed because previously you have to put your foot on the tire, which in muddy conditions can be slippery. Now though, you just have a step, which makes it more convenient. And then besides all of that, before I get to the bed cover, you get this soft open or soft close kind of thing. This is just fantastic because if you've driven some of the older pickup trucks, you'll know how heavy this thing can be. So having this gas strut over here makes it just easier and lighter to open. And then this part over here, the reason why this is here is because Ford envisioned that you're going to be doing a lot of work out on the field maybe you own a farm or something. So your traditional C-clamp, you can sort of just screw it in here and do some work. Besides that, this, yeah, you get more stuff over here as well. Now though, let's talk about my favorite part. You gotta watch this. So, this is the key. Check this out. So this is an automatic cover for your bed. And uh, this just makes life a lot more convenient out on your day-to-day -day use. So there are two ways to open or close that, either from your remote, which makes life a lot easier. But if you need to, there's this button over here as well. So you press this and it closes. But before you get to that, you get more three pin plugs here one over here and 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 an auxiliary socket over here as well so convenience uh, functionality obviously the name of the game as far as the ranger goes so anyway watch this what about pinch it's anti pinch so if you get your hand stuck in something stuck while it's closing it's just not going to close. So the other thing that I really appreciate about the Ranger Platinum are these roof racks over here. Now, traditionally, if you wanted a top box, uh, a storage or uh, luggage box, you would have to go and get these roof racks. And the thing about roof racks is those that are permanently in place, they tend to be really noisy on the highway at about anything above 100 kilometers per hour. They tend to whistle. And that just becomes very annoying from the interior. But because these things can be disassembled and they sit flush with these racks over here, such as this, for example, this. See how it just sits flush and you can just put it in place. So you can just store this away when you are getting on the highway. And if you wanted to put it back, if you want to put it in place, it's as simple as this and it can take loads of up to 80 kilo, kilograms, 80 kgs. Huge, quite a lot actually, because even your box itself is about, I don't know, uh, 10 kgs, if I'm not mistaken, 10 to 15 kgs. So that gives you about 70 kgs of luggage space, which is very impressive. That's not all though. Now check this out. You have this which can be stored over here, can be stopped over here, or it can be stopped anywhere in between. Now, this is great if you have longer stuff. I know there's some other features that I, that I can use. Let me just get to this. See? So this is in place, and this is aligned with the other roof racks as well. And that just means that if you want to carry longer items, Ford used a canoe as an example, but we are not really exactly living in Alaska or something where we have access to a lot of lakes. So I want to use an IKEA run as an example. For example, if you're buying a tallish cabinet or something, you don't really need to pay IKEA to send it to you. You can simply just tie it down over here. So this is the type of convenience that the Ranger Platinum has to offer, which in my books is just brilliant. What else could you need, right? 
Now, I know I've already spoken about the engine, but let's take a look anyway. And I've got a kind of a, a point to make because this thing is really heavy. And I'm not sure why, but Ford, or perhaps Ford Malaysia has decided that buyers of the Platinum Edition, premium buyers, don't need gas struts. Where else my Ranger, the previous generation model, came with gas struts, which made it just incredibly easy to open and close the bonnet. So anyway, point made, gas struts makes your life easier. However, powering the Ranger Platinum is the same powertrain, a two liter twin turbo engine, making 210 PS and 500 Newton meters of torque, power channeled to the rear wheels or all four wheels via a 10 speed gearbox. Brilliant stuff, no doubt about it. Very nice to have a, a very good balance between power as well as fuel efficiency. I think it's a 70 liter tank and I've seen a range of about 800 kilometers on the highway. So yeah, as I said, a very nice balance of power and efficiency. So before we close this video, I'd just like to talk about the driver assistance systems that the Ranger Platinum has to offer. Because it's a bunch of things and if I read them all out, <laughs> you're probably gonna bore you to death. But anyway, it has stuff like adaptive cruise control, which a lot of trucks have, but it has stop and go function, which means in traffic, you can just turn it on and it'll stop and go uh, according to the set limit, the set uh, speed limit. And then it has lane centering, uh, blind spot detection system, which in my books is very important. Of course, you get traction control, stability control, forward collision warning, reverse brake assist, uh, rollover mitigation, hill launch assist, hill descent control, brake assist. It has seven airbags, bunch of stuff. And now finally, what about owning the Ranger Platinum? Well, if you do decide to buy one, which I think you should if you're in the market for a pickup truck, you get a five year or 160 kilometer warranty standard right out, of, right out of the factory. However, Ford Malaysia is giving you the option to extend this to six or seven years, which will cost you between 2,300 to uh, 6,900. There is also a comprehensive uh, extended service package which costs 10364 but I don't quite have the details for it. I, I did opt to extend the warranty of my pickup truck as well and the level of convenience as well as hassle-free experience that it gives you, I would go for it, uh, the extended service package. Anyway, for 183888 ringgit, the Ford Ranger Platinum is perhaps among the nicest pickup trucks that you can buy without delving into the sports and hardcore sector. Uh, the Raptor has fat tires, have big bulky bulges everywhere. What if you don't want that? What if you just wanted a nice pickup truck, luxurious, comfortable pickup truck without actually, you know, seemingly being ob obnoxious? That's what the Ranger Platinum is for. So it cocoons you in premiumness, in luxury and in comfort. And I'm just blown away by the interior. And it has all the comfort and convenience that you will expect of a modern car. What else could you want in a pickup truck? And get this, for just under 185,000 ringgit, I think it's a steal. So if you're in the market for a pickup truck and you're not gonna do a lot of heavy off-roading, this is the best pickup truck in the segment right now. Thank you for watching. As, al as always, do consider subscribing.